Are you ready to go fix the batteries? Hmm? Hmm? Are you positive? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready to go fix the batteries. Okay. Off we go. Hey, today is maintenance day at the whip. We're going out to take out our old six volt lead acid batteries um, and install four six volt AGMs and two series parallel. Never done this before. Did a lot of studying, uh, watching videos, of course. So hopefully I don't screw it up. Off we go. Well, here we are. First things first, I'm going to remove the battery watering system because I don't need it anymore. I certainly don't need it on my old batteries, but I'm going to AGMs, so the maintenance will be much less. So all I'm doing is pulling apart the watering system uh, to make it easier to get out and out from under some of this stuff. I'm being real careful to not splash on myself any of this water that's in there now and the acid and that would be bad so anytime you put on a watering system you probably want to save these tops don't throw them away you never know when you're gonna need them unfortunately okay so we've taken off all the watering system I've kind of wiped off the battery cables I've numbered my batteries 1, 2, 3, and 4. Positive, negative, positive, negative, or excuse me, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So I need to go back in the same way. And then I've labeled each terminal. For instance, this is battery number 3, positive terminal, so 3 plus, 3 plus. Here's battery number four, so here's four plus, four plus, because that's a positive terminal. Okay, so where are you at now? Well, I'm starting to put it back together. We've cleaned out the bin. We've painted it. There's a little rust, not too bad. We cleaned it pretty good. Got the four AGMs in, negative to positive, stacked up. Numbered them one, two, three, four, same way the old ones came out. Got my diagram here, and I'm just reassembling based on these tags. So I've got number three negative to one positive, four negative to two positive, just on down the line, I'm going to start assembling the cables back together here and here. And the negative back there goes on last. So yeah. it's just a matter of putting them all back together the way they came off and the way I labeled them. And yeah. hopefully, uh, you know, everything comes out good. Why is your wrench all orange? Well, everybody tells me that you should tape it up so that if you accidentally drop it, you don't cross terminals. And so that's what I've done. So I taped up with some electrical tape, the handle here, and then this extension, and hopefully, these things are tight on there tight, but hopefully that'll uh, keep me from having a stupid accident. So I'll go back and tighten these when I'm good when I'm done, but for now I'm just putting everything back together. So what we've done is just wired, I believe it's called, wired this one in series and this one in series, so now I... I now have two 12 volt batteries. I'm going to check that real quick. Okay. You should see when I put the multimeter sensors to it, you should see somewhere north of 12 volts. Uh, what does it say? 12.98. Okay. Fully charged. So now we now have one 12 volt battery here. Now let's do this one. <laughs> and it says 12.99. Okay. And so by connecting it here and here, we now have one 12 volt battery here, one 12 volt battery here. I'm now going to wire these in, in uh, parallel. So I'm going to connect this one to this one, that terminal to that terminal, and bring my negatives in. And then we should be good. We are done hooking everything up. So it's hooked up according to how it came off. We've got pictures and diagrams. So I'm just going to go back and check my markings and make sure they match up. 
I've got a 3 plus, this is battery 3 positive terminal. I had to reverse the, the 4 plus and the 3 plus for battery 4 and battery 3 so that the wire would bend correctly for me. So we're good here. And then this is also should be a 4 plus it is. Let's see. This is 2 plus battery 2 positive terminal. 4 minus battery 4 negative terminal. I'm going to have to tighten these up better here in a sec. And then 2 minus, yes. 2 minus, yes. And 2 minus, yes. 1 minus, 1 minus, 1 minus. So it's all hooked up correctly. Now I just got to snug these terminals down. I may have to bend a few wires around a different direction so they'll set where they look pretty neat. But I think if you get down here and look, you can see it's, it's pretty well snugged up. What do you think? Looks very neat. I think we're good to go. Yeah. So I'm going to, once I make sure these are good, like I don't like that, I'm going to fix that up a little bit. Then I'll snug everything up and spray a little uh, battery corrosion resistant spray on there and we're good to go. Now we can click it on and see if everything works or if I blew it up. We need to check the... Mm. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. So there you have the finished product. Four six volt AGMs. Lifeline. Ready to go. Terminal sprayed. Yeah. I'm going to turn it on. If I blow up, there we go. Hopefully I don't. If I do, we'll catch it on video. I hear the pump going, so it sounds like we're working and looking good right now. I'm just going to go down and run the multimeter on it and make sure everything appears to be connected correctly again. Uh, but and replacing that can be a little challenging, especially for someone like me. I'm a CPA. I'm not a mechanic or I'm not mechanically inclined. So what I did was watched a couple of YouTube videos. One would be RV Geeks who laid out very methodically how to number your batteries, number the terminals, and label the cables accordingly so that you can then remove them and they go back exactly the way you took them. I took it one step further and actually diagrammed exactly how the wiring is supposed to go. Um, watched another video, RV with Tito, and watched how he did it as well. It was similar to RV Geeks. Um, but using that, those resources and a little bit of patience and time, was able to get it done myself. I've checked everything out inside. It looks good. So we're ready to hit the road. Next stop will be uh, Moab, Utah. And we're very excited to go back there. Hope you'll join us on our adventure and um, see you when we get back. Where are the batteries? I'm going to take off the negative first. That goes first off, first on. And then First off, last on. I guess I better look that up again. <laughs> yeah, it's first off, last on. Yeah, that's it. First off, last on for the negative. I hope that's right. Anyway, 